Hello and welcome to Bloomberg Quint. You're watching The Fine Print. Back in 2012, a Class 8 student in Port Blair used the Right to Information Act to get the local municipality to repair a road. In Bilaspur, the law came to the rescue of below poverty line ration card holders who were being deprived of their quota of rationed food grain. It also forced the Jharkhand government to restore the land rights of 114 Tana Bhagat families, a tribal community that was part of India's struggle for independence. And then there are the scams that made headlines. Adarsh Housing Society, 2G, Commonwealth Games, etc. From empowering ordinary citizens at the grassroots level to exposing some of the biggest scams of our times. The 2005 Right to Information Act has played a critical role in furthering transparency and accountability of those in power. The foundation of this act now seems to be in danger. In spite of strong opposition, the Lok Sabha has approved the right, the right to Information Act amendment bill that seeks to change the terms and conditions of service of the Chief Information Commissioner or CIC and Information Commissioners at the centre and in states. The opposition parties have said that this will compromise the independence of the Information Commission, while the government has said it's only trying to remove some anomalies in the law. Joining me now is Congress MP Shashi Tharoor to discuss the implications of these changes. Mr. Tharoor, uh, welcome to the fine print. Uh, the bill has proposed two key changes, Mr. Tharoor. One is that the central government will get the power to determine the tenure of the CIC and information commissioners, both at the central and state level. Currently, they have a fixed term of five years. And two, their salaries and allowances will also be decided by the government. Could you share your apprehensions on what this might do to the independence of the institution? Well, this right away destroy the autonomy and independence uh, of the statutory body. The whole idea was that the information commissioner should be insulated from government pressure. Once the government is in a position to decide their salaries, to lower or raise them, to determine their tenure, then immediately the logic of he who pays the piper calls the tune comes in. And you end up essentially with a CIC and, and, and uh, of course, even the state information commissions are affected by this amendment they both become handmaidens to the central government. And uh, you're taking what used to be a completely autonomous body that could challenge the government and question uh, and even pull up errant officials who hadn't cooperated with it and converting it into a mere department of the central government. And that was simply not what was intended when the RTI was first set up 14 years ago. And that's why people like me and pretty much everyone in the opposition bitterly fought against this appalling uh, power grab by the government.